welcome back to the Mastering PHP Image Processing Video Textbook. There may be some occasions, or maybe some application you're working on, where you must convert from one image type to another on the fly when users are uploading images. In this example, we'll show you how to convert all uploaded image types to JPEG. If the file is already a JPEG, then no conversion will take place. And this function can be duplicated to change uploaded file types to any type that you want, not just JPEG. We're going to be stemming off of our previous lessons in this video textbook to add another function under our resize function. So after you perform AK image resize or whatever you named your function, you're going to throw in another function here. And this one I labeled start atoms convert to JPEG function. And you'll notice that this function is called to run within an if condition. You see the if condition here? So the if condition reads if the file extensions, first you turn the file extension to lowercase using the string to lower function. And you say if the file extension is not equal to JPEG, then and only then do you change it to a JPEG type. Because if it's JPEG already, you don't want to waste the resources of making it a JPEG, another copy of it, when it's already a JPEG. Only if it's a GIF or a PNG type do you want to, this function to run on the file to turn it into a JPEG. If it's a JPEG already, this whole section will get bypassed. So this custom function we have here is set to take on three parameters, target file, new JPEG, and file extension. Target file is the resized file. So after the file is resized, that's the one we're going to target, the new resized copy. Then we're going to set the path and the file name for this new JPEG that's going to be created from a GIF or a PNG file. So we're using Kaboom Array's first element, which will be any set of characters that is before a dot in the file's name. And really, you can use any method you want to name this new file. But I just chose to use the original uploaded file's name. So that's going to be where the new JPEG that's created from either a GIF or a PNG file that somebody uploads that's where it's going to be housed in the uploads folder and it's going to have this name and it's definitely going to be a .jpg this time so I can force .jpg extension on the name so you feed the target file in the resized file and then you set the new jpeg name which I just explained and the last one is the file extension like we've been setting in the other functions that just lets this custom function know what the file extension is for this file Okay, so now we're going to add this new custom function in for converting images to JPEG into our AKPHP Image Library 1.0, or whatever you named yours. And it's a little library of functions that you've created custom to handle image processing, more advanced image processing. So I'm going to pop it in right here, and you can see it's not many lines to this one. I'll explain it right now. First, we scoop up the three parameters of the three variables coming into the function. The file extension, the new copy of the new JPEG's name, and where it is to be placed on the server, and the target file, which in our case is the resized file. But you can really target any file you want. So we list the original width and original height like we were doing in these other functions here for the target file when it comes in. We use get image size to list the original width and original height. Then we use string to lower on the extension to make it all lowercase. That way we can evaluate it here to say if the extension is GIF, we're going to use the image create from GIF function. Else, if the extension is PNG, we're going to use the image create from PNG function on the target file to create a new image. And here we create a new rectangular shape using image create true color that has the same dimensions as the file, the target file. Then we use image copy resampled on the newly created image and this image create true color rectangle. And we don't resize or anything in here. We keep all of these coordinates, all of these numbers at default numbers. For instance, all the left top corners are zero. All of the widths and heights or what the original height is for the target image. So nothing's going to get resized. We're just making a copy of a GIF or a JPEG of a GIF or a PNG to then output it as a JPEG using the image JPEG function here. 
So you take your true color image as the first parameter to that function. Then you place your new copy information and that's where it's going to be placed on the server and its new name. And the quality of the output JPEG is going to be 84 in this case. You can make this 80 or whatever. Don't make it too big. I think 84 is a nice safe number. Doesn't make the file too big and it looks just a little nicer than it would at 80 percent. This number is the quality of the output file. And that's it. Let's test it out. Alright, let's choose a GIF. This one's definitely a GIF. Upload it. Alright, now let's try a PNG file. This flower is a PNG. Now let's check the uploads folder. Okay, so here I'm going to double click in the uploads folder on the server and I should see a JPEG created out of this GIF and there it is. There's the JPEG from the sky.gif. Now we should see a JPEG created from the flower.png and here it is, flower.jpeg. So I'm going to put that on my local machine and the sky picture, both of them are JPEGs. Let's take a look at them. Okay, so you see what you've got here. This one is a GIF. That's the one I uploaded. This one is now a JPEG. That's the one that was transformed on the server on the fly from this one. And same thing with the flower. There's a PNG type that we uploaded. And there's the JPEG type. Now let's take a look at them. Preview it. There's the PNG. And here's the JPEG that was uh, made on the fly on my server. Same quality, nice looking image. So this is how you can go about converting all images to one certain type. And if you wanted to make yours all output to GIF type, you just change this to image GIF or image PNG down here to output to PNG type. And you just change up a couple of the variables and the way your condition reads. So if you're going to change everything to PNG type, if they're uploading a PNG, you don't have to convert that. So you just change that up a little bit and you'd be good to go. But most people would use this to change things to a JPEG because JPEG is the most universal image handling type. All right, so next we're going to tackle watermarking. So we'll create a image watermarking function here and put it into our imaging library. So, so far we have three nice functions going on within our custom imaging library that we can tap into anytime we want to convert an image, thumbnail, crop an image, or resize an image. We're going to add a couple of more functions to this file. So stay tuned for the next lesson where we're going to add watermarking on the fly to protect your images from theft online.